the blessing of the morning light to you. May it find you even in your invisible appearances. May you be seen to have risen from some other place you know and have known in the darkness, and that carries all you need. May you see what is hidden in you as a place of hospitality and shadowed shelter. May what is hidden in you become your gift to give. May you hold that shadow to the light and the silence of that shelter to the word of the light. May you join every previous disappearance with this new appearance, this new morning, this being seen again, new and newly alive. I often think that one of the really tiny disciplines of life that can make a huge incremental difference is the ability to be able to bless and especially to be able to bless a way that you've chosen yourself. We tend to think, you know, in the lay world that uh, a blessing is just wishing the best for someone else. And in the sense I'm speaking about wishing the best for yourself. But my mother really understood the blessing of genius when, uh, as an Irish uh, person who stands fully in that inheritance, she said, you know, the real genius of blessing is to be able to wish something for someone that they didn't even know they needed for themselves. Yeah. And that's the true blessing, to surprise someone. Uh, to have seen to the center of them where sometimes they haven't seen themselves and to wish that part of them the ability to take the next step. Well, you can imagine immediately how marvelous that would be to be able to do that for yourself, to be able to wish something for yourself that you didn't know you needed, to overcome the small names you'd given to the way before you in order to open up to the larger unnamed destination. Yeah. So I wrote this piece actually as a blessing for a good friend, John O'Donoghue. And uh, John was a priest for 17 years. Uh, and uh, many times at Easter time, he would get up very early and he would go to a ruined monastery called Corkham Row. And there, with thousands of other people, he would lead a dawn mass. Yeah. Well, quite often, when he was leading this mass at six o'clock in the morning, Easter time, uh, depending on when Easter fell, um, I would just be going to bed uh, eight hours behind him in the Pacific Northwest of the United States. And uh, I remember once thinking about him getting up, thinking of him, and thinking of John's Irish genius for blessing, actually. And in fact, he became famous through writing a whole compendium and book of blessings for various qualities and states and thresholds of life. So this was written for John, but it's, it's also written as a way of creating a discipline out of waking. I will often recite this piece to myself in order to start close in on a day in order to ask the beautiful question, in order to be somewhere else than in the center of the news on the internet. Yeah? Uh, news from a different frontier that's being in uncovered inside you by the discovery of this miracle we call light. The blessing of the morning light to you. May it find you even in your invisible appearances. May it find you even in your invisible appearances. May you be seen to have risen from some other place you know and have known in the darkness, and that carries all you need. May you see what is hidden in you as a place of hospitality and shadowed shelter. May what is hidden in you become your gift to give. May what is hidden in you become your gift to give. May you hold that shadow to the light and the silence of that shelter to the word of the light. May you join every previous disappearance with this new appearance, this new morning, this being seen again, new and newly alive. I remember being uh, surprised in a blessing-like way by that, uh, that 
invitation in the line that says, may you join every previous disappearance with this new appearance, this new morning, this being seen again, new and newly alive. Well, of course, every night is a kind of disappearance. And if you read about the physiology of sleep, there's this incredible physiological revolution that occurs, this transfiguration of your body and of the systems of your body in the various levels of sleep. And it's not long uh, that, uh, uh, that a human being goes without sleep without being in deep peril uh, and deep peril of actually dying, actually. So this nightly disappearance is somehow uh, really germane to human health. Yeah. And as we come back into the day, there is this cargo of revelation that we're carrying out from the depths here. Yeah. That disappearance in the night is, of course, a recapitulation of the larger disappearances we've gone through throughout the different thresholds of our existence. When you think how the child in you had to disappear for the adolescent to appear, and the adolescent had to disappear in order for the young man or the young woman in you to appear, and the young man or woman had to disappear in order for the more responsible, uh, more societally engaged, more thoughtful, and perhaps more heartbroken person you became as a, as, as a full adult, yeah. And then there's the other heartbreaking uh, disappearances that occur through midlife, yeah, which actually lead to a deeper form of heart mending and compassion in, in our eldership. So this, this poem is, is a blessing for the emergence into any new moment in your life, for the morning of a morning, but also all the mornings of your life to come, where you suddenly realize, I'm a different person actually than I was five years ago, than I was 10 years ago. I actually want different things. I need a different kind of blessing than the one I asked for. <laughs> The blessing of the morning light to you. May it find you, even in your invisible appearances. May you be seen to have risen from some other place you know and have known in the darkness, and that carries all you need. May you see what is hidden in you as a place of hospitality and shadowed shelter. May what is hidden in you become your gift to give. May you hold that shadow to the light and the silence of that shelter to the word of the light. May you join every previous disappearance to this new appearance, this new morning, this being seen again, new and newly alive. Blessing of the morning light or Easter blessing in David White, Essentials. <laughs>